guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me if you're here for the very first time my name is Agan and I'm a budgeter I'm a Kenyan budgeter I'm also a mom and a wife and I do budgeting as well as homemaking organizing DIY name it so basically this is for moms and we try to encourage moms to stick within their budgets to save money to like literally everything around financial freedom, a debt-free life, name it. And for me, having financial freedom, I know different people have different opinions or other different um, definitions of what financial freedom is for them. But for me, financial freedom is being able to work anywhere, anytime, any, 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 any day of the day, any day of the week, sorry. So if I can work anytime, if I can work anywhere in the world, I can be in, in Kenya or I can be um, in Canada or I can be in the, in, in the States, you know, so long as I'm able to make my money anywhere. Like I'm not constricted to one place like I have to go there every day, five to nine or nine to five, you know. So for me, that is financial freedom. And where I am today, well, I'm not going to say that I have attained it, but I am working towards attaining financial freedom. So today's um, video is all about our second stuffing of the month of December. And guys, happy holidays. I said this in our last video that I am going to continue wishing you Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, whether you like it or not. So when you're here, I want to give you a job today. I'm thinking of giving you a job today because what I'm doing, like literally what I'm doing right now is my job. So for you, that you're joining me today, whether you, it's your first time or whether it's your second time, I mean, your job here is to like and to comment on the video and if you have not subscribed please go ahead and do that and while you're doing that do not forget to click on the notification button so let me go ahead and start i'm so excited today because well it's a friday right and i enjoy doing these videos like literally me sharing my financial journey or rather my debt journey literally it makes me so so it makes me feel so good you know that at least somebody could pick one or two things here that would help them so let me get um, the money that you're supposed to stuff today. And um, I know probably you're asking yourself what happened to my challenge, but I will be explaining my challenges, I think, in another video. So today, let's let's deal with this first, right? So this is Kenyan currency. I have been asked so many times by my um, fellow budgeters because as you all know guys I mean we don't have very many budgeters in Kenya so it's not really easy for you know so I'm going to be doing uh, using the Kenyan currency because that's where I live so let's see how much we have and then we can start so you can see that you know it's not really hard and um, Again, you don't really need a lot of money for you to do this. I mean, it's like your normal budget. I mean, whatever you earn, it could be 10K, it could be 50, depending on how much, even 5,000. I think there's a time I even budgeted 5K. So I think let's get at that. So I have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 500, 6,500, that is 7,000. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, eight K. One, two, three, four, and five. That is nine thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is eight. That is um, 11,000, sorry. So today we're going to be cash stuffing 11,000 Kenyan shillings for the second week of December. And I'm really, really happy that at least I'm doing this before the end of the year. You know, I you never know. <laughs> you never really know. So, I'm gonna have to. So let me organize this before we get started with the stuffing 
So ladies and gentlemen, or ladies and ladies, I don't know if we have a gentleman here, but ladies and ladies, um, we are done organizing. So let's get on with the stuffing. So as usual, I start with my um, envelopes, my DIY envelopes. These ones, I made them myself. And guys, I am so, I don't know, I have been waiting for my envelopes for my zipper envelopes for like forever <sighs> I enjoy online shopping it's one of the things that I enjoy so much I mean I could buy a ton of things on a daily basis if I could but this one has taken so long I'm even beginning to think I'll never get them but let's wait and see because I saw they updated on the site that um, on the website that I should be getting them by January 10th. So let me just wait until January 10th. If I don't get them, I'll just ask for a refund. Then I go to it, then go to Etsy and see if I can get um, envelopes. And actually, if I cannot get this envelope, I'm going to make my own laminated envelopes. Which, as usual, we start with my hair. And this week, um, hair is getting 200. I just need to make sure that it is one 200 because. I mean, sometimes I forget and I put two, especially if the, the new knots. So that is 200 for hair. Followed by beauty is also getting 200. I have 1500 for fun, so I'm adding 1300. We will be going out with my friends. So that means that fan now has 1,200, 400, and 500. So 1,500 for fun. It's really nice. I hope it fits. Good. It fits. And then online shopping. This week is just getting 100. And I think there's some money in here. Wow. Been doing good. Huh? <laughs> Never in a million in a million days did I know that I'd be having like money saved for online shopping because I usually just shop and I find something I like and I can pay for it electronically. I just kind of go ahead and do it. So fun now. Um, online shopping, sorry, has two, three, four, and five, which is not bad. I mean, probably we can build this to two thousand. Because I'd like to buy some a shower caddy for my for my bathroom. Spending um this week is getting five hundred as usual. Um and I'm giving it five hundred because I think next week or rather this week that we are starting, I'm going to be having a lot of places to go to and all that. So I'm not really. I'm. I'm. I've, I'm starting to train myself to avoid being a spendthrift. So that's why I give myself this. It's just the minimal to see if I can manage or I cannot manage. But most of the times I find myself managing. And then um, household is getting two hundred, and we have some money in uh, here. So let's see. Let's see how much we have. For household, household has 300. So if we add 200, we're going to be having 500. Wow. And most of the things, by the way, most of this, uh, my sinking funds are going into the next year. I think I wanted to start afresh, but I'm thinking, why not? I mean, because this was, I started saving, I started this. The current sinking funds that I have, I started them last month, in the month of November, and we are in December, so I don't see the need for me to, you know, stop. And the first binder is usually my variables and my bills and my everything, literally, name it, you know. So in this binder, you'll find rent, in this binder, you'll find internet, in this binder, you'll find food. So I have a mixture of, a combination of um, variables and cash envelopes here. So, you know, but hopefully in the next year, um, in the next coming year, I will be having different um, 
binders for my cash envelopes for my sinking funds and for my variables so hopefully and for my challenges as well so yeah so we'll see so this week um transport is getting 300 as usual not really as usual i won't really be going anywhere so this is enough for Groceries this week is getting 500 and I'm out of five so I'll just use the twos and the ones that I have so two Two and one so this would be an equivalent of five dollars. I mean if you were Stuffing in dollars yen. I've been asked that so many times Internet is also getting 500, so we just take two, two, and one. This should be enough for the entire week, by the way. I don't see the need. I don't see the need for me to stuff this. And actually, moving forward, I'm going to have just one envelope for all my bills. I think it would be good to have a few envelopes to work with so i mean because if there are too many as well sometimes you think that oh man i don't really have that much money you know so a thousand for food there's someone hitting something down here i don't know what it is ça me dérange ça me dérange beaucoup oh i speak a lot of french sometimes so cleaning will be getting 350 and it's because i i think i'm almost hitting my target and um, I don't know what they're hitting down there. I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, hopefully in the next coming year, I'll get a, maybe a more quiet place, so maybe a quiet office. As my current office, okay, well, it's nice, but as you can hear, and you don't really have, you don't really get a lot of that sometimes. You can get it when people are not there, like today, but when they're guys, oh my God. I usually run away sometimes so so that is 350 for cleaning and we see how much we have now so cleaning now has 1500 700 800 and 900 which is not bad compared to you know not having any so I have 1900 in cleaning I didn't actually write that here, so I'll have to do it. So I added 350, that makes it 1,900. Our charmer today is getting 1,000. Most of these are actually done. Very, very done, like complete. So I just need to start saving for next month. Then, um, so the rent is also getting a thousand this week. Hopefully, next week I'll put two or three. And yes, I think we're done. We're done with this binder. I always just like to cross check and see that we are doing the right, we've done like all of them because mostly this binder remains empty. By the end of the week, it's usually empty. Most of the envelopes are empty, that is. So, okay. So, this is done. I'm going to take this one for my sinking funds. And these are my trackers for my sinking funds. I removed them because I was, um, I was filling them out. So, I kind of removed all of them. But I'll make sure that I return them in the envelopes because it makes my work very easy medical on um, this week is getting 200 and i know we have some money in here so we we're just gonna get it out and see how much we will be having so well so now we have two four six seven eight nine Wow, it's 1,000, 1,000. So now we have 1,000 in medical. I 
and then we have um, emergency emergency so what I did is I tried to condense this uh, bills because I don't like the envelopes I don't like them when they look like they're fat or something so I tried to condense most of them so emergency is also getting 200 that's one and two meaning that we will be having 500 1000 100 200 so we'll be having 1200 in emergency so emergency is kind of ahead of um medical and then we have um clothing so i told you last week that i was going to be removing some cash here and i did i removed 1100 so i remained with um let me see so i removed 1100 and then i remained with um 1400 and then i added 200 in there so i had 1600 and then i deducted 900 yesterday when i was going to get some shoes um for the girls so i only have 700 in there so i know we're only supposed to have seven 700 here so that is five six seven and i'm going to be adding 1000 so that i have 1500 600 and 700 so clothing now has 1700 which by the way i'm still going to use to buy myself some shoes hopefully um yeah birthdays this week is getting 200 shillings and um that is one and two so that is one hundred two three four five and six so birthdays now has six hundred then we move on to vacation vacation is getting a hundred and fifty and a hundred so vacation now has one two three four and five five so it has 500 now i haven't even decided where we will be going for vacation next for me to know how much i need to save but hopefully or definitely it's just the cost so condensed um christmas so that it doesn't look like kind of fat and all that. i don't really like it when the envelopes kind of look you know so christmas is getting a thousand so that is one, two, three, four, one. I am happy. <laughs> that is 4,100. So hopefully next week, if I add maybe 1,100, I'll be having 6,000. And I'm sure that I'll be added some money by the mister. So that should be more than enough to take care of my Christmas budget or my Christmas shopping. And then we have um, Ellie. So Ellie is supposed to get 200. That is one and two. So I also kind of condensed this one. So now she has 1200. Then we have money as well, getting 200. So now mommy also has um, 1200 as usual so we kind of try to um, put similar amounts I try to do that so I think I have um, everything and as I can see here I still have some money left so let me just see how much this is one two three four five six I have 700 left so I'm not sure whether I made a mistake somewhere, but I don't think I did make any mistake. So um, I'm going to add this 41. So I'm, think, I'm thinking I make it 45. So I'm going to add 400 to Christmas. Where is Christmas? Emergency. 
clothing most days vacation so i'm going to add 400 here i hope i have not made a mistake because i have stuffed everything as i had budgeted but i think probably i withdrew extra because i did the budgeting before i drew the money so this is one two three four thousand one two three four five so that is four thousand five hundred in christmas now I hope I didn't make a mistake. And then we go to clothing. Um, clothing. So for the clothes. Because right now, honestly. So even this one, I think I should just make it 2,000. So I'm going to add the rest here. So we'll have 1,500. One, two, three, four, five. That is two thousand in clothing. So I have to go back here and um, add. So I added instead of having this one, I'm supposed to add three hundred. So I added three hundred here. So now I have two thousand. Then we also have to add Christmas. I added four hundred. So we have 4,500. Yeah, I think that's okay. Perfect. This is nice, at least. I don't know why I drew extra money, but it's okay. I don't know. So now everything has been stuffed. Because you all know I do the zero based budget. I don't like like withdrawing money from the bank and then like I end up with cash. So I want everything stuffed. So let me see. So we have medical, emergency, we have clothing, birthdays, vacation, Christmas, we have Ellie and me. So I'm going to start looking at places that I can visit. We can visit rather as a family for vacation next year. And then also have something that probably I'll be sharing with you in my next video. Um, I came up with a, a self-reflection kind of um, trip for myself. So it's kind of a, a mommy self-reflection trip where I go to every year. So I choose a destination like last year or rather this year. Last year I didn't go. This was my first year. So I went to um, Port Victoria and um, just for the weekend I was alone. I did a lot of journaling and I look at my goals for the year, where I am. I mean, the things that I'm doing, if I'm really following on my plan, my resolutions for the year, where I am with my finances, if I am working on my goals. Like one of my goals this year was to um, lose some weight. But unfortunately, I I got pregnant and then I lost the baby. So I'm still dealing with the baby fat. So I think that losing weight um, goal is still going to be carried on to next year because I know I can lose weight. I know I can because I have done it before after my first one. So this one has become very, very hard for me to lose. I have been working out and dieting and well, it's not working for me. I don't know, maybe I'm stressed or I work a lot. I don't know, but it's been super, super stressful. So I'm looking at um, doing a weight loss challenge where I will be putting money in for every weight that I lose. So let's say I lose one kg, I'll be putting a thousand bob. So I think that would kind of motivate me to work out and diet and just stay healthy and eat healthy, you know, and avoid alcohol, which is also something that, um, well, I think that with the work that I do, having maybe whiskey or some wine in the office is good for me. Because sometimes the pressure is too much. You're kind of dealing with clients from all over the world and everybody has their own demands, you know. So you kind of have to, there's a little, there's a lot of pressure in there. So I try to calm myself down with maybe a tart, or maybe a glass of wine just to calm myself down. So I will try and work on that because somebody told me that maybe alcohol can also be a reason why, you know, you're not losing weight. But I think it's all in the mind, it's all in the head. So when I'll be coming 
up with my resolutions for 2022 which i'm so excited about because i have so many many goals i have so many many things that i want to achieve in 2022 some of them i have already achieved in 2021 because wow guys this is the year that i opened my own company and good it's working don't tell anyone i told you but it is working you know so because it is working you know we have to make it work even more right so i'm hoping that probably next year i'll be getting a new um, office a bigger space because i want to employ a few people so yeah we'll see we'll see so thank you guys it's been a pleasure i do do love sharing these videos with you sharing my budgeting journey with you guys it's super super nice so thank you so much for joining me if this was your very first time here I hope you enjoyed yourself i hope you enjoyed the video and please come back and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much and see you in the next one guys see you in the next one and i'm really really happy that you are taking care we have corona out there and we have the festive season so drive safe okay don't drink and drive not drunk driving so, see you in the next one, guys. Bye.